Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Finally, the professional debut of young Danny Morell is upon us. How are you feeling, mate? Fantastic. It's been a long time coming, <clears throat> but it's here. And I'm literally 10 minutes away from home. So it's a home? Well, there you go then. Home's 10 minutes away. Right, well, you said it was literally down. He's literally down the street. I could run there in 10 minutes, 15. No. Probably 15. Probably 20. Probably 20. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's not far at all. Well, that's, that's good for you though. That's good yeah. for you. Yeah, but seeing there's no crowd, you can't bring all your thousands of fans, but no. it is what it is. They'll be watching at home, I hope. On IFL TV. IFL TV, Wednesday, what is it? Uh, might be fighting at 6.30. 6.30. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Well, let's get a wee bit serious then. I mean, how's training going? I mean, it is your professional debut. Have you got any nerves, uh, any injuries through training camp? Or how is, how's it all been? Uh, nerves wise, I, I won't be nervous till tomorrow, probably. But uh, training's been just like I've always. I've been training like a professional since I was 16. So, but obviously, Dave, the, you know, there are big news that, you know, Dave's not training me anymore and I've been down at Ingalls for the past. You know, I had a solid two week there before this, but I will fit anyway because I'm meant to be fighting in Spain. So, uh, I've been, I've had an hard solid two week at Ingalls and I've been eating right. Uh, Dom's looked after me with my food and and I feel amazing. Good. We're talking about Dave, he's not training you anymore, but he did do a lot of your training when you were an amateur and stuff yeah. like that and, yeah. and, and stuff, but has he sent you any messages? I know he's not here, he's not going to make it to, to your professional debut. I'm sure he would like to be here. Yeah. But uh, has he sent you any messages of good luck or anything like that? Speak, speak every day. Yeah. Speak every day on the phone. Uh, you know he's he's still he's still there doing things you know behind the picture. He's one sorted this fight. He's got me the opportunity, to sorted my opponent and all that. So Dave's you know Dave's still there sorting everything out. So but he's just not training me because you know he's got his own career. It's hard to you know one minute he disappears to Ukraine sparring and and for me like I'm a professional athlete as well now. So I need that professional regime that we didn't were the only thing missing. But Obviously, Dave's got his own career to, to think about, and uh, I say it to him all the time. But he's such a, a gifted person. He, he don't sometimes his last focus is himself when it should be his first. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm glad that he's uh, you know he can focus on himself now and you know get these fights. When you know he, he needs to prove himself uh, how good he is. Talking to you, Domingo's gym. Uh, some great fighters. Oh, proper. Still in that gym and has come from that gym. Um, has Dom changed your style in any way or anything like that? Or what, what have you learned more in the two weeks that you, you've been with Dom? Uh, Dave's, we've, we've always looked at like Barry and we've always copied Barry, like the pads with, with me and Dave. We've always copied Barry, so I, I went in there with kind of an idea of what, what to expect and I've, you know, Dave sent me down a couple times before, so it wasn't just like a big move, it were, it were kind of there a bit, there a bit, and then you know there for a solid two weeks. So it's a it's an amazing gym, and I love it. I proper do enjoy it down there. It makes me, it gives me that extra ten percent effort that I, that I need. In terms of the fighters in the gym, Liam Williamson, Willie Hutchison, all these guys, Galahad. I mean, what 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 kind of inspiration do you take from them? What kind of advice have they give you as well going into your professional debut? It, it's uh, it just gives me a lot of confidence. You know, mm. you know, body sparring with them and. And you know, just being around them people, you know, me hitting the bag thinking, Will Hutchinson's watching me on baggy or mm. you know, Barry's watching me on baggy I'm, you know, you you wanna hit it that little bit harder and that little bit quicker, so just being around them people and uh, learning all the time. Like I can't I can't not learn in that gym. So it's a good definitely it's, it's, it's definitely a class gym. You yeah. just see the fighters that have come from there, yeah. the seem even Sky's Johnny Nelson and yeah. stuff like that. It's it's definitely there. In terms of the fight itself, you've just weighed in, you've seen your opponent. Yep. He's quite a big lad. He's a bit taller than me. A bit I, taller I wanted him a bit shorter just so I can, you know, impress ladies. Because I'm not getting getting away with this five foot nine anymore. 
So uh, yeah, he's making me look a bit small, but no. I've got scales at 10, 12, easy, and I feel and I feel great. So a lot of people should say I probably should be, you know, do lighter. But that's what I was just going to say. I was going to say 10, 12. You, you're not the biggest. No, uh -huh. but there's, you know, there's no point. I'm 18. I, I'm in no rush. Mm -hmm. uh, this stage now, I, I don't want to kill myself to be making weight. I don't want to sicken myself away from it. You know, I, I, I'll obviously make the weight when. I have to make the weight, but uh, it's just all about learning now. Mm -hmm. You know, I need to learn this professional trade because amateurs and, and pros are such a different game. So, you know, I want I want these years, you know, uh, uh, me developing. I, I want to find it the right way. I don't want to be killing myself at weight when, to be honest, I'm, I'm not fully matured yet. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of performance can we expect then? I mean. We, 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 we get some good numbers on AFL TV, so I'm pretty sure people will be tuning in to watch Daniel yes. Rowe's debut. But so, what kind of performance can we expect from you? A great one because <laughs> I'm excited and I'm happy. Good. And, uh, which is the best feeling to have before a fight. Sometimes you feel, oh, I haven't done this, I haven't done that, but I just feel happy and excited. So I'm just going to float around the ring and, and do what I do the best. Class performance. Class. I don't. I don't want to get it once. If I get it once, I'll be upset. But yeah. that's the plan. There, well, there we go then. Um, <coughs> final message on, on, on Dave. He obviously he, he's got his own professional career to think about. Like you said, but will he ever be in your corner? Do you think? I hope so. But yeah. like, you know, Dave's he can't miss two week training because he needs to go and get a, a finger license mm -hmm. and. And I, I want to be in his corner one day, I want to go and get the licence, but it's, you know, life's, you can say it, but it's a lot harder than it sounds. Yeah. You can't just turn around and go and get a, a corner's licence and, and this, that and other, but Dave's always going to be there and and Dave's, you know, put a lot of hard work in and, and one day when, you know, when I achieve what I want to achieve, you know, we'll both be happy people. I've got to say as well, that going back to you, jumping back to, you, to your weight, because I was just thinking there that, you want you want you want the biggest, and you don't want to strength because you're only eighteen. You don't want to yeah. cut weight, but in your head, do you have a weight that you want to fight at? It's it's an hard one to say. I, I I'm not too I'm not too sure because I might grow. I might mm. have got a bit more growing because it is in the family that late developers and and things like that. But whatever I feel the best at, that's what I want to fight at. I don't, I'm not really. I ain't got re any targets or anything like that. I definitely don't want to be. The, killing myself ever to make the weight, like proper killing myself. But whatever I feel best at and I'll I'll find that over time and, you know, experience in the pro pro game, so yeah. When and if you win on Wednesday night, who are you calling out? Give me some names. I won't call anyone. Come on, you've just won your professional debut, you won an all who you are you calling out? Nobody. <laughs> I've I'm here to learn now. This is all I'm in the learning stage. See, that's probably the m most mature thing. I've had c numerous conversations with you, and that's probably the most mature thing you've ever said. Well, I'm actually a mature person, but I do immature things. But <laughs> no, I, I'm learning. I want to do it properly. This has been my dream. So, you know, I'm. A, I can say I'm a professional athlete, and I'm. I'm going to train like one now. Well, that's a perfect way to end this interview. Well done, and uh, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow night. Um, you've just got your food delivered. Yeah, yeah so I'm going to yeah. cut this interview now so you can go and get some food because you've yeah. just weighed in. Danny, good luck tomorrow night. I'm pretty sure I'll see you at the hotel anyway. But yeah. uh, good luck and Thank I'm you looking forward much. to your fight. Stick Thank in well. Thank you. Cheers. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt.